Welcome back guys. So now I'm going to solve an example to basically show that the Higgsian demand and the Marshallian demand uh, curves actually correspond to one another when the uh, indirect utility function and or the expenditure function is, is correctly uh, scaled. All right. So if you remember the last time we said uh, the Higgsian demand curve uh, which is calculated at px, py, assuming they're two goods, and the u-bar is in fact equal to the Marshallian demand curve, uh, which is calculated under the px, py prices and the income, whenever uh, the utility bar, uh, the utility level is in fact equal to the indirect utility level at px, py and, and income, all right? Well, what else? The Higgsian demand curve, Px, Py income, is in fact equal to the Higgsian, uh, the Marshallian demand is equal to the Higgsian demand, uh, U bar, whenever the income is in fact the expenditure level, which is calculated at Px, Py level and the U bar level. <clears throat> All right, so this is what I am going to basically show with this simple example. So in this example, I have two goods, utility function is 2x plus square root of y, and uh, assuming that the price of good x and py are given as such, and income is i. All right, so first I'm going to drive the Marshallian demand curves. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to drive the uh, optimal demands for good x and good y by utility maximization problem, and then drive the indirect utility function. Then I'm going to... Um, solve the uh, 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 cost minimization problem, all right, find the Higgsian demand for x and y, and then calculate the expenditure function. Then as a third step, I'm going to verify these two. So there's going to be a lot of writing. Unfortunately, some of those are going to be erased because my board is not as big as it should be. So to find the Marshallian demand, this is what we do, remember, we solve the maximization problem by choosing x and y, which are non-negative real numbers, by maximizing this utility function, which is 2x plus square root of y, subject to the budget constraint pxx, oops, p plus pyy equals income. Right? Because again, the utility function is increasing, I ignore less than sign here. So what that means is the Lagrangian is basically the objective function, which is the utility function, 2x plus square root of y minus lambda times the constraint, xpx plus ypy minus income. So the first order conditions are del L del x is equal to 2 minus lambda px equals 0, del L del y equals um, 1 over 2 square root of y <clears throat> minus uh, lambda py equals 0. And finally, del L del lambda is going to give me x px plus y py. Oops, double y, sorry. y py uh, minus income equals 0. So if I use these two guys, what I'm going to get is the following. Lambda px is equal to income. I also get lambda py equals 1 over 2 square root of y. You know what? I can divide both sides. That's not going to change the inequality. Lambdas will cancel out, assuming that lambda is non-zero. It has to be non-zero um, because the solution is an interior solution. All right. So here there's no x, but that's perfectly fine. I'm going to find um, y. So by do the cross product, what I have is px over 2 squared y is equal to 2y. Oh, 2py, I'm sorry, 2py. So you know what? I'm going to leave y on one side. So that means square root of y, in fact, equal to px over 4py. So therefore, y has to be equal to px divided by 4py squared. So this is the optimal Marshallian demand for good y. How do I find good x? Simple. Uh, I already used the first and the second, and then they use the third one. So the third um, first order condition tells me xpx plus ypy equals income. So ypy 
is basically, I, I know what y is. So if I multiply it by py, this py square and py will cancel out. There's going to be only one py uh, below. So px squared divided by 16 py. So this is y py, all right, plus xpx equals income. So there's only one x term. So send everything else to the other side, divide both sides by px. You're going to get x equals income divided by px uh, minus, right, because this is going to be minus. Uh, px squared divided by px is just px divided by 16py. Okay, there you go. Uh, let me check if I did correct because I don't want to make a mistake and then come back again. So this is the optimal Marshallian demand for good x and good y. Very good. Well then, what is the indirect utility function? Well, let me erase these because I'm going to come back here. So the, <clears throat> the indirect utility function, if you remember, so let me just note the optimal demand uh, for good x and good y. So it is income divided by px minus px divided by 16py. And optimal Marshallian demand is in fact px squared divided by 16py squared. Very well. Well, how do we find the uh, indirect utility function? Remember, we basically plug uh, this optimal x and y into our utility function, right? So therefore, the v px py uh, income is nothing but uh, 2x star plus square root of y star, where x star is this, y star is this. So uh, x star is this means just multiply all these by 2. So 2 income divided by px minus uh, px divided by 8py, right? 2 and 16 cancel out, so I have remaining 8. Plus square root of y star, when you take the square root of this guy, it's going to give me px over 4py. So this px over 4py is, is 2px divided by 8, right? So now I can add them up. So this is minus 1, this is plus 2, so there's going to be plus 1, all right? So therefore, this is 2i divided by px plus px divided by 8py is my indirect utility function. So let me note this here. My indirect utility function, v, which is a function of px, py, and income, obviously, is 2 income over px plus px divided by 8py. Let me see if that is correct. Yep, it is. Very well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve the, the second problem, the Hicksian. So this is the Marshallian part. So now the Hicksian. So what does that mean? That means I am minimizing uh, xpx plus ypy, my expenditure, remember, by choosing x and y from non-negative reals subject to my utility function must be greater than or equal to some fixed level of utility uh, which we denote by u bar very well so once again i write the lagrangian the objective function xpx plus ypy oops minus lambda times the constraint u of xy minus u bar by the way once again because the utility function is an increasing function you don't really need to write u of x y is equal to u bar just write it's equal to u bar now let's continue the first order conditions so del l del x is equal to px minus oh what is u of x y it's 2x plus square root of y right so it's px minus uh, lambda 2 uh, equals zero. Del L del Y is equal to PY minus uh, lambda over two squared of Y equals zero. And then finally del L del lambda is equal to, you know, utility XY, which is um, two X plus squared of Y e minus U bar equals zero. So if you use these two guys, 
the first and the second, I have this px equals 2 lambda and I have py equals uh, lambda divided by 2 squared of y. All right, so if you divide both sides, again, this is not going to change the equality. Lambdas will cancel out because I know lambda is non-zero because this is an interior solution. Interior solutions always means lambda is non-zero, so they cancel out. Um, so be, be careful, this 2 and 2 will not cancel out this is because this is 1 over 2. So instead, they will be multiplied. So this is, in fact, px over py uh, equals 4 squared of y. And that means y is equal to px over 4py squared. So you know what? The Hicksian demand for good y is exactly the same as the Marshallian demand for good y. So there's no income effect for good y here. All right? That's, that's very nice. Um, okay. Um, so what else? So once you find y, how do I find x? Use the third equality. So it's 2x plus square root of, oops, y equals u bar. So square root of y is basically square root of this guy, which means 2x plus px over 4py equals u bar. So that means my x is equal to u bar, oops, divided by 2 minus px over 8py. And the Hicksian demand for good x and the Marshallian demand for good x they're uh, highly different from one another. Very well. So next, I'm going to calculate the expenditure function. Remember, it's just xpx plus ypy. So x I just found as u bar over 2 minus px over 8py. So I just multiply this whole thing by px. So I have u bar px divided by 2 minus px squared divided by 8py plus ypy is basically px squared divided by 14 of 16, I'm sorry, py, because this py square and py will cancel out. So I'm going to have py only. So therefore, the, if you just simplify this, this is 2 divided by 16. So there's going to be u bar px over 2 minus px squared divided by 16py. So this is my expenditure function. All right, so let me summarize. So I need to clean up. So the Hicksian demand for good x is u bar over 2 minus px over 8py. y is the same, px squared over 16py squared. And the expenditure function um, is equal to u bar px over 2 minus px squared divided by 16py. Let me check if that is true. Yes, it is. Very well. So that's the first part, the second part, and then the third part to verify these two equalities. So how do I do that? Well, simple. Let's, let's verify this first. Okay. What does that mean? That means, look, the, well, this is the Hicksian demand. Uh, so I, I'm going to put a C on uh, top of them. So the Hicksian demand, which is u bar divided by 2 minus px over 8py, must be equal to the Marshallian demand when u bar is in fact equal to v of px pyi. So this is the v, so the uh, indirect utility function. So whenever I see u, just put v. So that means uh, this guy divided by 2, which means i over px plus px over 16py, because I'm dividing this thing by 2. Now I'm done with u bar over 2 minus px over 8py. Well, you know, px over 8py is nothing but 2px times 16y, right? So that I can add these things up. So if I do that, what I'm going to get is i over px uh, minus px divided by 16py. Is this really equal to the Marshallian demand? Oops, there's no, there's nothing there. Um, yes, exactly. So you know what? The Hicksian demand is equal to the Marshallian demand whenever u bar is exactly equal to the v, the indirect utility function. So I verified this. All right, so that's a, a valid argument. Well, now I'm going to verify that the 
Marshallian demand is equal to the Hicksian demand when the income, so what is the Marshallian demand? It's this, income divided by Px minus Px divided by 16Py. Um, so this one is equal to the Hicksian demand when the income I'm using here is equal to the expenditure. All right, so whenever I see I, I'm gonna plug this, all right? So that means I'm gonna divide this guy by Px. So it's gonna give me u bar over two minus px divided by 16py. So I'm done with this, minus px over 16py. So this is minus minus, so it's two px, so therefore this two and 16 will cancel out, it's gonna be one over eight. So therefore this is u bar over two minus px over uh, 8py. Is this equal to the Hicksian demand? U bar over 2 minus Px over 8py. Exactly. So you know what? The Marshallian demand is also equal to the Hicksian demand whenever the income is equal to the expenditure uh, function that uh, is needed to achieve the utility level U bar. So therefore, both of these arguments are actually valid. All right? Okay, so in the next episode, we are going to start talking about um, substitution effect and income effect. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.